and today's video is on this, which is my custom Sonic screwdriver, uh, which has received quite a few likes on Instagram. Um, so this Sonic is actually just made out of plumbing parts and a few odds and ends. So the main body of the Sonic is actually just a piece of metal tube like this. Um, as you can see, it's about the same size as what I've got on there. Um, and then it is just basically some plumbing parts that I managed to pick up in a local uh, DIY store um, which were on clearance. So I picked up quite a few of them and I've got other bits and pieces that I may use in the future for other projects. Um, but to start off, the top of the actual Sonic itself was the, the main thing I looked at. Um, and these are the parts in question uh, that I used. And I used two of them with a acrylic rod like this, which I then popped in the middle of those and they fitted quite nicely. Um, and that is how I got the main central chamber here. Um, and I did initially debate about using a 11th Doctor emitter head, which could have worked quite nicely. Um, and that could have been green instead of blue. Um, but I ended up opting for an 11th, uh, 10th Doctor um, emitter head. So that was what I went with. Um, and then for the actual um, tops of the actual emitter body um, section, I ended up with these also part of the set. Now, initially, if you put them together like so, they do form a clean fit. And that was initially going to be one of the things I looked at. But I thought, well, to give it a little bit more dimension, um, I used a small O-ring, which went on the bottom there, and then that then sat and um, became that. Um, and obviously I drilled a hole through the middle of that clear tube uh, to run the wires, and then that then all sat on top of the metal body, like so, which I painted black, um, drilled a hole in, it's similar to this, um, and put the uh, button switch there so that it would activate the Sonic um, and then the bottom of the Sonic is very very similar um, it's basically the, the emitter head in reverse but with a few slight changes um, and so you have another one of those another of these pieces and if you pop that that way so it does sit flush and uh, now this isn't the exact piece but it's very similar this is an aerial coax and that then slots into the base like so and then it just has a small glass bead that fits in the bottom. It's very similar to uh, the base of the Capaldi Sonic, but uh, I thought that worked quite well. And that was how the Sonic was designed. Um, and it, it, you know, it was just sort of a, a bit of time in the evening where I just sat there tinkering about with it. Um, now it's a little bit smaller than my um, Dr. Sonic for my audio series. And obviously this one is louder due to the fact that it's got this mesh grill um, between the top but obviously you can see that there are the exact same metal pieces uh, just with a few changes um, the actual body itself is a little bit longer here but the same metal pieces you can see along there uh, just orientated slightly differently um, and you know there's a brass um, o-ring in the middle of that for example and then obviously this has a door handle at the end of it um, and so yeah they're obviously of a similar family in that respect, um, but they, they do look slightly different as well. Um, so yeah, that is obviously my Sonic screwdriver that a lot of people asked how I built it, um, and so I thought I'd do a small little video. Um, so that is that. It is today 58 years of Doctor Who, which is kind of a little bit crazy, um, and yeah, it, I thought that maybe I'd, I'd put this video out for that. Um, I've recently put up on my Instagram a post of the biggest props I've done Doctor Who wise, including the console uh, being one of them. And so, yeah, that was something I put out today. Um, the audio series is still in the process of being done. Um, I'm still doing bits and pieces for it, um, but it's kind of taken a bit of a back seat recently. There's been other bits and pieces that I've been doing um, that have kind of got in the way a little bit. Um, and also just work as well, um, Comic Con was this weekend just gone, um, and that was really fun, um, had, had a lovely time, uh, met Joe Martin, 
um, and I met Tommy Knight and I saw Jenna Coleman again for a photo um, and I also met Sasha Dwan, um, all lovely lovely people, um, met some new friends and uh, met up with some uh, older friends and yeah it was, it was a rather good time um, and I enjoyed that so yes. Hopefully this video has been helpful, uh, as I say the, the Sonic is just made up of bits and pieces and I have a large selection of, of odds and ends that I use for different props and bits and pieces like that so you know do do collect bits, do look at things slightly differently than what they're maybe for, um, obviously like I say those, those parts on there are for plumbing but obviously they are easier and cheaper than getting machined pieces of metal for uh, you know, a full body metal sonic screwdriver um, so you do have to look at things a little bit differently sometimes to be able to come up with with bits and pieces um, so yeah, as I say hopefully this has been an informal video for you um, hopefully I'll be uploading something soon um, but in the meantime I'll see you in the next one guys <laughs>